Hi folks, David Waring here again with InformTrades.com and today's lesson of the day, the basics of charting. I have to apologize to you folks today because I, at the end of yesterday's lesson I said we were going to be going into support and resistance today and I actually forgot that we uh, had not gone into the basics of charting yet. So we're going to do the basics of charting today and go into support and resistance tomorrow. The first thing it's important to understand when looking at a price chart is exactly what you're looking at. And very simply what you're looking at when you pull up a chart is the movement of a financial instrument's price over a selected period of time. So in this example we're looking at a chart of Google. That's our financial instrument and we're looking at a daily chart. Uh, and you can see here that time is represented on the uh, x-axis, the days there, and then price is represented uh, as by a dollar amount. So this is a stock on the y or vertical axis. Uh, pretty simple there. Most charting packages that you can have, whether they're free or paid packages, have a variety of time fr frames range, ranging from tick, uh, which is price by price, um, to minute, to f five minute, to daily, to weekly. Um, you know, there's tons of different time frames available. Um, it's not really important right now at this stage. Um, to to focus on which time frame you should be using you should just understand that in general longer term traders use daily charts and above so daily weekly monthly and shorter term traders use daily charts and below so daily um, hourly five minute etc the most basic type of chart is a line chart and it's the most basic type of chart because it shows the least amount of data and basically all you're looking at when you look at a line chart is the closed price of a security connected by a line um, so if you're looking at a daily chart which we're looking at here of Merrill Lynch um, this is just the closing price for Merrill Lynch's stock each day connected by a line um, and in general because it shows the least amount of data traders will tend to shy away from using line charts the only exception to that would be in very thinly traded financial instruments sometimes that the only price that's available for the day is the closed price for the day so all you can look at for those is a, is a line chart but you probably won't run into that the next type of chart is what's known as a bar chart and this shows as you can see a lot more detail than a line chart in addition to the closed price which you see on a line chart on a bar chart you also see the high for the day the low for the day the open and the closed price um, the the uh, thin line, the vertical line, or what you're seeing there is a line which is connecting the top uh, high price with the low low price for the day or whatever time period you've selected. So um, the high and the low connected by the vertical line and then a tick on the left hand side representing the open for the time period you've selected and a tick on the right hand side representing the close for that time period. Um, so you get a little better picture of what was happening during the individual time periods for, uh, that you're looking at, which is important for things such as um, if the open is uh, higher than the close for the day, then you know you've had a down day. Um, if the open is lower than the close for the day, then you've had an up day, and that's an important uh, you know thing to be able to see on the chart, especially you know when looking at multiple up days in a row and those types of things when when trying to determine where to place trades. Some concepts which we'll go into in later lessons. Uh, candlesticks charts which are also referred to as Japanese candlesticks sometimes because they originated in Japan um, show all the things that are shown in a bar chart so open high low and close uh, but with one additional or important addition um, and that is um, in addition to showing the open high low and close price uh, candlestick charts also have a thick body in the middle which is representative of and colored um, based on where the close uh, was for the time period selected in relation to the open. So if the close was higher than the open for the time period selected then the body of the candle which is the middle part um, is going to be in general shaded white. If the close was lower than the open uh, the body of the candle is in general going to be sh shaded black as you can see here and I say in general here because uh, some charting packages will use different colors uh, one of the charting packages I use uses red and green instead of uh, white and black but you can you know you can it's it's not really important what color colors are used it's just important to understand the concept of what you're looking at um, the uh, some verbiage here for you the uh, lines the thin lines that connect the high and the low are referred to as the wick of the candle and the uh, middle part as we stated before is referred to as the body of the candle 
you can see an example here of a uh, candlestick chart and as you can see here instead of white it's green on the upside and uh, red on the downside but exactly the same concept um, and you can see in the middle chart uh, middle of the chart there the added detail that this gives you as a trader um, with the big up candle um, on the hourly chart there you can see that, that was very bullish and the big down candle on the right hand side was very bearish so um, you know just gives you a little more data there to look at and uh, pretty much we're going to stick to channel candlestick charts um, throughout these lessons because of the added uh, detail that they give you so that's our lesson for today you should now have a good understanding of charts and the different uh, charting options that are available to you as a trader um, as always, if you have any questions, please feel free to visit us at informedtrades.com and have a great day.